So today we're gonna to go ahead and uh, adjust our E-steps on our extruder to get better uh, printouts from the uh, FL Zone Q5. So the, the micro switch tells us that uh, a good E-step to start the point is at uh, 130. So what we wanna do is make sure that we can get that nicer and tighter to make sure that our prints don't have any issues with over or under extruding. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and measure our E-steps and make sure that we are within that 20 uh, millimeter range. That should be about good. So you're gonna need a ruler, caliper, marker, and then your printer. Here we go. Okay, so now we have everything set up. I have the, uh, the computer hooked up to the 3D printer. I uh, uploaded my uh, printer phase program. I think that is one of the easiest ones to, uh, to adjust your E-steps with. Uh, it's just simpler for me. I got the instructions online and, and it, was, uh, it works pretty good. Uh, the command that you wanna give the printer is M92 E130. 130 is the E step that is uh, recommended by uh, the company that makes the uh, extruder. I have not loaded any filament to it yet. I want to make sure that the uh, that the uh, E steps are set, and then uh, once I get that E step set, then we'll go ahead and uh, and upload. And then uh, I can make another video. I know there's a few videos, but I can make another video on how to uh, adjust the steps to make it nicer on uh, nicer prints on the uh, Q5. But you're gonna go ahead and write M92 E30 E130. Sorry, hit enter, and then M500. So it'll save it. And then configuration is stored. Is what it's gonna tell you. All right, so the first thing we want to do is measure our filament and we're going to measure 200 millimeters from the top of your extruder. Once we get there, we're going to go ahead and mark it with a black marker. So we can see that black mark, maybe. There it is, you should be able to see that. And then the next step that we're gonna do is on the computer. <clears throat> so I went ahead and uh, already opened printer face. And I'm going to go ahead and connect it to my computer, to my uh, 3D printer, excuse me. We got a preheat the 3D printer nozzle all right so we got the uh, nozzle preheated and now we're gonna go ahead in printer phase, we're gonna give it the command of G1 F100 E180. That is just telling the uh, printer to go ahead and spew out 180 millimeters of filament. So it's got it's done, and now we have to measure from the top of our extruder to where the black mark is. 
so you can see right there we are at 35 millimeters all right so now we go to the uh, website i'll go to 3d print beginner.com extruder calibration guide i'll go ahead and put that down in the uh in the uh, description we'll write down our current e-step value which is 130 because i switched it to the uh, micro swiss if you are still factory with the q5 it, it says that it comes in at 367 so that's what you put in here the measure filament is 200 millimeters and the uh, amount requested is 180 because you told the uh, the trainer printer to go ahead and uh, spew out 180 of them uh the remaining filament is what we just measured and it's the uh, 35 millimeters that you know are still from the top of the uh extruder to the mark so that gives us a calibrated extruder value of 141 Point eighty one. So, but it's for me. It says one forty one point eight one eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and say one forty one point eight two, and I'm gonna go back to pronter face, and I am going to give him the command. So I'm gonna give it the command of M ninety two E one forty one point eight two. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and send it. Then I'm going to give it the M500 so it will store it. And now that's all you need to do to get it uh, E steps. You can continue to do the same steps over and over so you can get it closer, but uh, that is the gist of it. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. If not, just send me a comment and see what I can do better. Thanks.